There are some birds you don't want to mess with, and she's one of them. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of Hawk Girl. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We have chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1940's Flash Comics No. 1 and 1941's All-Star Comics No. 5, which was eventually expanded upon in 1961's The Brave and the Bold No. 34 and 2012's Earth 2 No. 4 and 5. There have been a number of characters in the DC Universe who have taken on the name Hawk Girl. The first was a woman named Shiera Sanders, introduced in the first issue of Flash Comics. In this story, wealthy collector Carter Hall discovered that he was the reincarnation of the ancient Egyptian prince Khufu. While examining an Egyptian dagger, Hall fell into a trance where he was shown the details of his past life. In ancient Egypt, Prince Khufu and his love, a beauty named Shiera, were put to death by the evil priest Hath Set as a sacrifice to Anubis, the god of death. After emerging from his trance, Hall took a walk to clear his head and quickly ran into a woman he recognized to be the reincarnation of Shiera, who was, as luck would have it, also named Shiera. However, soon the reincarnation of Hath Set, a man named Haster, kidnapped Shiera in the hopes of sacrificing her to Anubis once again. Using his collection of Egyptian artifacts, Hall became the winged Hawkman. Because much of his costume was composed of items forged in ninth metal, Hawkman could defy the laws of gravity and fly like a hawk. Using these new powers, he defeated Haster and saved Shiera. After her rescue, Shiera didn't immediately take on the identity of Hawk Girl. That only happened in 1941, when Hawkman suggested that she wear a hawk costume of her own. The appearance of a second hawk costumed hero would apparently confuse a villain who is currently out to get Hawkman. The ruse worked, and eventually Shiera joined Hawkman as his regular crime-fighting partner. When the Golden Age of Comics came to an end, Hawkman and Hawk Girl faded from view. But DC revived the characters in 1961, albeit with changes. The new heroes were actually Katar and Shiera Hall, husband and wife police officers from the planet Thanagar. My home Thanagar is a warlike world. There one must strike first. They came to Earth hunting a dangerous criminal named Biff, who had the power to metamorphose into any creature. Katar and Shiera assumed the guise of museum directors in Midway City while they hunted down Biff. Their Thanagarian police uniforms featured wings and anti-gravity belts that enabled them to fly. Armed with weapons from the Midway Museum and an innate ability to communicate with birds, they chased the shapeshifting criminal all over the city. Biff was confident that he could defeat them when he became a Brontodon, a Thanagarian creature that no one had ever been able to defeat. However, using the weapons that they took from the museum, the winged duo eventually succeeded in capturing their prey. Mission accomplished, the couple elected to stay on Earth and study our police methods. Over time, Hawk Girl changed her name to Hawk Woman, a sensible move. Less sensible were some of the changes that DC put the character through, revamping her origin several times. Sometimes she was the reincarnation of Hawkman's long lost love, and sometimes she was a Thanagarian, and she was not always friendly. Finally, she and Hawkman were reunited for a long life together, just in time for DC's New 52 to shake things up again. Hawk Girl. The New 52 version of Hawk Girl appeared in 2012. Named Kendra Saunders, this Hawk Girl was an Earthling who was recruited to be a member of the World Army. However, she had ideas of her own and left the World Army to use her skills and powers as an independent force for justice. It's a package deal. You want the mace? You get me too. Various versions of Hawkgirl have made the transition to the small screen as part of the DC animated universe. Whether appearing together with Hawkman or independently on her own, Hawkgirl's determination and talents make her a formidable bird of prey feared by criminals. What? There's a time for words and a time for action. Are you a fan of Hawkgirl? However you want to play it, I'll back you up. For more comic book origins, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. We can't be worrying about each other when we're fighting the bad guys.